Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Grounded Life Finances, Allie and Rob, and today we are reviewing the World of Hyatt Chase card. Yeah, we love this World of Hyatt Chase card because Hyatt points are just so valuable, and this is a great one to <laughs> They're like get. the top tier. <laughs> top tier of hotel points right yeah. there. So let's jump right in with the annual fee. This is gonna be a $95 annual fee. That's not terrible for a hotel card because you're gonna get a lot with it. Uh, the sign up bonus, it's gonna seem low to most people because the sign up bonus is 30,000 points when you spend uh, 3,000 in three months and then you can get another 30,000 points where you're getting double points for every dollar you're spent. So you could get up to 60,000 but you're guaranteed 30,000. That doesn't seem like a lot but the difference is with this card, these points are valuable. We value them at two and a half cents per point, which is about five times what a Hilton point would be worth. Mm. So when you look at it from a standpoint of Hilton is offering 150,000 points on their $450 card, and this is 30,000 points on a $95 card, but the points are worth two and a half times, uh, or five times more, this is actually a better deal than the yeah. Hilton card. Yeah, it does sound like it. <laughs> yeah, so along with that, you're also going to get elite status. You're going to get the Hyatt Discoverer status, which is not their top tier status. It is not. But it does get you into the... Mm -hmm. uh, it gets you in there in, working. Into the game. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you will also get one annual free night certificate, which is good for a category one through four. So let's talk a little bit about these points because people are saying, you know, maybe not believing that these points are so valuable, <laughs> but 30,000 is a lot of points. We've been looking recently at redeeming some of our points, what we could get for them. And if you find a class one Hyatt hotel, that's gonna be a 5,000 point a night uh, price. We've even seen them for 3,500 points a night. We're talking about <laughs> resorts in Bali and in India and the the Park Hyatt in Chennai, India was going to be 5,000 points. Uh, that, that's amazing. It's kind of mind-boggling to see what some of the point redemptions yeah. you can get, specifically overseas, which is where these points are going to go even farther because... Yep you can those redemptions are going to be like you said at the lower class number but the resorts if you see them are nicer than some of the the ones that you can get here in the u.s yeah so th this is if you use these points properly and we're going to have more videos on the best places to redeem your points uh you don't just want to roll up and throw away twenty thousand <laughs> points at the Hyatt Place in Atlanta. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, Nothing wrong with the Hyatt Place in Atlanta, but I wouldn't spend 20,000 points on it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. So you're going to be earning nine times points on all of your Hyatt stays. And again, that's less than some others. You can earn 34 times at Hilton. <laughs> but these points, keep in mind, are five times more valuable. So nine times five, that's actually 45 this is that you're actually earning more per stay. They just have their point structure way compressed compared to Hilton and the other brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of throws you off a little bit when you see that. When you first told me the number of points that you got, I was like, 30,000? That doesn't seem like anything. Granted, it's only, you know, the $95 annual fee, but at first I thought, well, that doesn't make very much sense. But when you know the value of those Hyatt points, then you're like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, so you'll also be earning two times points on restaurants, airfare, transit, and gym memberships. <laughs> kind of some odd categories there. Uh, but then you'll be getting one times points on everything else. So mm -hmm. that doesn't seem like a lot, but again, these are the most valuable points out there. Right. So this is a card, which is great because you can use it anywhere for anything, and it's it's worth your expenditure. So a lot of these hotel cards, you really only want to use them at the hotel. Not the case with this one, though. Yeah, and that that is a big key uh, for 
uh, for making the case towards getting this card is that you can use it more than just getting a hotel at this property. Yeah, so a lot of these hotel cards are not standalone. You would need to use them in conjunction with, say, a Chase Sapphire Reserve. It just wouldn't make sense to have them on their own. This card you could use as your only card and you wouldn't be leaving points on the table. Uh, as long as you're okay staying at Hyatt when you go to reserve when you go to redeem them, Who wouldn't be good with staying. Yeah, at I would. Yeah, <laughs> so that's great. So this is one of our favorite hotel cards. You can use this. And I recommend it over some of the others where you just like the the Marriott card. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to use that as much and get the maximum amount of points for right. it. Right. So yeah. Uh, so we, who is this good for? This is for people who are who want to travel and who are happy with staying at a Hyatt. Yeah, yep. exactly. Great. And the beauty of this card is that, like you said, this could be your only card. Yeah. So are there any cards competing with this one? Well, the IHG Chase card is a competitor, and the Marriott card is a competitor if you know you only stay at Marriott. Mm. But if you're not going to be doing that, I think I will be choosing between this card and the IHG card. Those would be my two of the roughly $100 Mm -hmm. uh, hotel cards that you can get i would choose between the ihg and the hyatt based on your where you stay normally mm -hmm. but this if, if everything else was equal i think this would be the top pick awesome that's great to know so hopefully if you enjoyed getting this information you can check out our other videos here on grounded life finances guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more coming your way give us a like if you enjoyed this video and if you have questions leave those for us below in the comments